Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at seven new things that are added to Laravel version 9.49.0. This version had a lot of new features. I will show you them one by one. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this support for casting arrays containing enums. Let us understand this by looking into an example. Sometimes in the database, we can have many roles of an user, but here I am writing types, but just ignore this type column for now. Let us just think that there is only this type because a user can have multiple roles or multiple types in our application. Now let's say we had an enum representing a single type and we want to show collection of those enums whenever we are accessing the type. Then we can do it in this way. Let me show you that over here. So here, let's say user type enum. So here I have normal and admin. And whenever we are casting this, we can now do it in this way. If I go over here in the user model, then I can do it like this. So here types, the column name, and this as enum collection, which is coming from the Laravel. If you see here, it's over here. And then we can give here a colon and then user type enum, whatever the enum that we have created. Now, if I just go over here in the Tinkerwell application, this is the Tinkerwell application, not the VS code. Most of the people are always asking me in the comment section below. So I'm telling it in the beginning. So here I am finding the user with the first, okay? This is the first user. And you can see here types. We can see here as a JSON field. It is a JSON column in our database. Now, whenever we are saving, then we can do it like this. Now let's say I want this user to be normal as well as admin. Sometimes a user can be either editor or normal user. They can have different types. But here, just to show you as an example, I am showing you normal and admin. Now let me just save it. Now if I come here in the database and refresh, then you can see here there is this normal and admin. Because of this casting that we have done over here, it will automatically save that data like that as you have seen in the database. And now if I try to access this user types like this and just return, then you can see here it is returning me the collection of enums, not a normalization field. You can see here this is very, very powerful and can be very, very useful for us because we can access a lot of methods or properties that is present in the enum. And this feature has been contributed by Earl Poch Smith. Now let us move to the second thing that has been added, which is the CLI prompt. And it has been added by Jess Alcher, who is the core member of Laravel. So previously, let me show you here, I have a test command. So here, this is the test command and this is the command description. This is just a bare bone command that will be generated whenever you create a new command using the PHP artisan command helper. Okay. So here I have written test command and let's say I want to pass a parameter whenever I am running this command. So here, let's say one argument. Okay. So this is the argument. And now you can see here, there is nothing over here in the handle. And now let's say I want to show the value of the argument, whatever that is passed over here. Now, if I try to, let's say, just run the PHP artisan test command and hit enter, then it will actually show me this error, which says not enough arguments missing arg1. Previously, it used to do it like this. But now, if we just implement an interface, which is this prompts for missing input, then it will actually ask for us to input that argument. Let me import this one over here like this. You can see the full path over here. Now, after implementing this interface, if I again run the same command, then it will actually ask me the command. So let me say L-A-R-A-T-I-P-S, Lara Tips. And the argument one value is Lara Tips like this. Now let's move to the third thing, which is this assert JSON is array and assert JSON is object for the test response. So let me just go here in the example test. I'm using paste in order to write my tests, but you can use PHP unit as well. Both work the same way. Now here, let me go here in the API.php. I have created these two routes. You can see here, this is array and this is object. By the way, the object means is it is an object in the JavaScript, not in the PHP world, okay? So here, this is the array of arrays, okay? So here you can see here, actually this is an array, but it is just a single associative array which has ID as one. But if you try to access this in the JavaScript, it will actually be like this. Let's say ID and one like this in the JavaScript world, okay? But this one will act as an array because we have returned over here this array and inside this array also we have an array which will actually look like this in the JavaScript world. So let me just show you over here like this. And here ID and one like this, okay? It will look like this. Now there is a way to test this as well. So here in the example test, you can see here, here I'm just sending a get request to this API endpoint array. 
you can see here and it is returning an array and here i am just asserting this is the new thing that has been added assert json is array and this assert json is object now if i just run this paste paste run then you can see here it is passing but if i just write it over here and paste it over here like this and again just run it then you can see here it is failing which means that the response must be an array not an object so let me undo this now let me also run on this one so here paste run then you can see here it is also passing and this feature has been contributed by Seth Sandaru. Now let us move to the fourth thing and all the other remaining four things are minor changes. So I'll just show you those. This feature is the first delete quietly to the soft delete and it has been contributed by Slobby. Now we have this first delete quietly method and if we just call this method on a soft deleted model then it will not raise any events. The fifth thing that has been added is this sort desc method on the arr helper class. Basically it sorts the given array in descending order and it has been contributed by Timur. The sixth thing that has been added is this new throw helper methods for HTTP client. Previously, there was this throw if method that we could call in the response. And if the response was greater than 400 status code, then it would throw an error. But now we have more methods that we can use. So let's say throw if status is 500 or throw on this status. So we can pass these statuses over here. And these methods are also similar to that of the throw if. So we can pass either integer or a closure. Now let us move to the seventh and the final thing that has been added is no access on on delete this is just a simple helper method that we can attach on this migration so previously there was cascade on delete those kind of helper methods but there wasn't this no action on delete so this has been added and this will add this over here no action on the on delete 